Hi Virgo, welcome to your May Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, let's see what's going on for you. Welcome in, hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. So we're looking at all energies, what you need to know for May, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements, male or female, general collective reading. Only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip energies around, especially cross watchers. It could actually be a reading for you. Ooh, the sun. Happiest card in the deck. New beginnings with one. And adjacent possibilities. So we do have the sun here, which gives me Leo energy and new beginnings with one. And the sun is the most vibrant energy here. It's about healing, uh, true authenticity, being who you truly are, happiness, joy, healing, success, victory, growth, expansion, ultimate clarity here. So, and we have adjacent possibilities, 24, which is six. Very healing, balanced energy here. So I think you're being enlightened here that you have, you have infinite possibilities waiting for you, Virgo. And... I think no matter what choice you make, that you will be very happy. I mean, the sun is the happiest card in the deck here. So definitely a new beginning here and many possibilities. So let's see where this is going. So I would say, look at all the possibilities being presented to you that are coming on your path because there's something there that's going to make you very, very happy. Successful is what I heard as well. Enlightened. All right. Abundant. All right, Virgo. Let's see what this is about. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there. Uh, if you missed your April readings, you still could go back and watch them if you'd like to. Many different readings here. If you're new, I do post every Monday, Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All 12 zodiac signs, you get a different reading each and every time. Eight different readings a week, uh, month. So you can check that out if you like to. Wide variety, love, uh, moon, new moon, full moon, money, spirit messages, maybe changing. Uh, I do post a daily poll every single day on the community tab. You can check that out. Mostly about content and those kind of things. All right, Virgo. Let's see what we have. So we do have here Our Lady of the Interior Life. I trust the answers I find within me. I know that the presence of love is real. And we have the warrior saying, I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. Wow. So definitely with that, you're attracting something here. You're attracting like infinite possibilities. Well, I don't want to say infinite possibilities, but many possibilities here. And you have the answers are within you to trust which one is the best one for you. And you are a warrior saint, so you you can do it. You can you can find any possibility, adjacent possibility, a different route, a different avenue, an alternative route. And you are strong enough to do that, to change your trajectory, to take a whole new direction if you choose to. All right, Virgo. I do have another channel, Virgo. I just, just started. It's a Twin Flame channel. Link is below if you'd like to check that out. There's a few videos up on there. I do post there every Monday and Thursday, but 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not as many videos going up over there. I'll probably be doing elemental uh, Twin Flame rings. I don't have time to do the Zodiacs over there. All right, Virgo, what else do we need to know? The Well Watcher. Wisdom, Power of the Divine, and Rainbow Prince here. So we have the Well Watcher, Wisdom, Power of the Divine, seven, very spiritually, divinely guided energy. And we have the Rainbow Prince, Compensation and Perseverance, 26, which is eight, which is about taking action. We have seven, eight progression here. We have a rainbow here, luck, expansion, growth. So you will be compensated for all your perseverance. I, the more you pe persevere, the more you're strong, you go on, you, you know, be open to any possibilities that come your way. 
that you will be compensated even for you know even if it's a new avenue you take you may make more money you may you know so it's like getting compensated for the past that you weren't paid enough or you weren't valued enough power of the divine so there's something coming in for you but i think you have to look for it and you definitely will your patience will pay off your perseverance your or your hard work and dedication you put into something in the past will pay off in the future and it may not be where you are now it could be like a total different avenue or job or whatever and you're making twice as much or three times as much and you're like wow you know i've getting so far ahead you know three four times the amount of time i would if i stayed where i was so it's kind of what i'm getting here all right but we'll see what else is coming in here i will look at love you know i know everyone wants to know about love so we'll see what comes in regarding that so let's shuffle up the deck i'm gonna cut it take some bottom of the deck energy to see your overall art overarching energy and I will lay out a spread here. So let me just shuffle these up a little bit more. All right, for Virgo. Okay, the Hermit. So definitely a lot of soul searching here. Virgo, that's you. Devil, about toxic situations in your life that are no longer serving you. Capricorn energy. Three of Pentacles is about rebuilding rebuilding learning new things and this fell in reverse so i'm going to take it five of wands in reverse definitely wanting to come out of conflict and look what is showing up again the sun leo energy again double double the fun double the sun <laughs> i don't know here but definitely you're wanting to come out of conflict rebuild something getting out of like a lot of conflict toxic energy um that really probably stresses you out as well so nine of pentacles nine of pentacles i don't even know why i said that you could be single but definitely um hermit energy here which is your energy i see virgo capricorn um trying to figure out how can i work on something new how can i rebuild something how can i make plans to move in a new direction but there is a possibility out there for you so you have to look at every every energy prospect idea that comes your way All right, let's see. Page of Swords. So this could be, you know, researching, learning, you know, maybe going online, doing some self-learning things, um, broadening your horizon, even sharpening up your resume as well. Tower. Here's a big shift, shock, change, awakening, epiphany, aha moment. And we have Aquarius, Aries, Six of Cups. Some of you may be thinking about moving back home, maybe even returning back to... I heard maybe a family business or maybe even a first job you had. Um, maybe it's really expanded and you're like, wow, maybe I should go back to maybe one of your first jobs or something like that. Some could have children. Page of Pentacles. So there's some sort of opportunity or possibility. Definitely that is tangible, reliable, resourceful. Could be learning new things as well king of pentacles now this could be uh that's virgo that is you you can again did i not say you can have an opportunity here to make more money than you ever have before look at all the coins at his feet so i feel like tower it can be about change it doesn't always have to be bad seven of pentacles so you definitely invested a lot of time and energy and effort into things of the past and now you're reflecting as you're still in the situation like do i really do i really really want to stay here and keep putting my energy into this I, I it's almost like you're in a space now where you're putting your time effort and energy into something but you're thinking back on something on the past like hmm i wonder like if that first job or that a job i had 10 years ago i wonder how they're doing i wonder if it's better i wonder if i make more money Maybe the business is booming now. Maybe I should go check it out. I, that's kind of what I'm feeling here. Hmm. Five of Cups. Sadness, Lost, Regret. Heard Remorse. I don't know what that means. The Moon. So it could be fear, illusion, not trusting something here. And the Ten of Pentacles is total wealth, abundance, growth, prosperity for the long term, which we have right there. 
I'm not really getting, we have like no, we only cups we have is the five of cups. So I'm not really feeling a lot of energy here about love. <laughs> For some of you who are single, um, Definitely there could be somebody out there for you, but I think you have to keep looking. I think staying alone isn't going to help you because staying alone here, um, you may just keep going down a path of like inner conflict, of stress, fear, worry, anxiety, low self-esteem, like with this devil energy, when you need to kind of get yourself out there, three of pentacles to start socializing um, as well. You are, you are a warrior. And there is a love out there because we have the presence of love is real. So there is a real love out there. But you have to get up and you have to take action and fight for it and find it. You have to fight for it to find it is kind of what I feel. Because the hermit can be seclusion. It can be, you know, staying in that energy. Again, Page of Swords can actually be um, maybe starting online. Some people don't like dating sites, but could be or maybe reconnecting to people online you haven't talked to in a long time but definitely a big energy shift here has to take place you kind of know that this could be reconnecting actually we do have another um you could be thinking back on someone from the past here that you had a connection with at one time you know maybe you know maybe they were married unfortunately and maybe so maybe you decided just to you no know, it could have been something new and then you found out they were married and you're like, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to invest in myself. But now you've ended up spent, spending like many, many, I don't know, years, months alone. And you still think about that person. Hmm, I wonder if they're still married. But there's something about the sitting in the fear of illusion here and wondering, just like kind of waiting and wondering, are they still married? Hmm, I don't know. But then scared to reach out and ask. It's kind of what I feel as well. Oh, but definitely I feel like here, if you, if you're thinking about getting back in touch with like an old prospect or job or something, see how it's going, maybe even reconnecting to friends that work there or something, just asking hmm, how, you know, how's it going there? Maybe afraid to ask with the moon here, but we do have the 10 of pentacles. So we're going to clarify this, but I do see Capricorn. Virgo, that's your energy, Aquarius, Aries, um, Capricorn again, Virgo, Pisces. And we have Leo energy here with the sun as well as over there. So let's see, let's clarify. Let's clarify here. And actually the Virgo in the middle here is you. I'm feeling like this is someone that you had a connection with in the past where you thought, wow, you no, know, maybe like a childhood crush and you have, you know, always had a crush on this person. And even as a kid, you're like, oh, wow, you know, I'm going to marry, you know, little, you know, Mikey down the street, you know, <laughs> when you were like five years old, you know, and maybe to this day, you still think of that. Hey, and maybe, you know, you're a little kid, your intuition was right, you know. All right. So let's see what the first row has to say. With the, it could definitely someone could be t keeping tabs on someone's social media, but there may not be no contact or communication. But there's definitely an energy shift, you know, tower awakening, epiphany, aha moment, a shock, shift, change could be a surprise. Oh my god, four of ones. And that I said that, like you're sitting here wondering if so and so is still married. <laughs> oh my god. And we got the four of ones. That is kind of like a marriage card here. All right, let's clarify a little more. Hey, man, I think you're still hung up on this person, Pisces. You still think about them from time to time. You may not completely be hung up on them, but there's still some corner in your mind where you still think about them from time to time and wondering if they're still stuck in a marriage. That's kind of what I feel. Empress, Libra Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. I think you need to get more into your divine feminine energy. Maybe let go a little bit or just, you know, to finally put your mind at ease. Reach out, see what they're doing, see what they're up to. Especially if you're thinking about going back to a past job or something like that. Getting information. I'm, this is what I'm thinking, feeling with the page of search. You need to get information so you can clear your mind and you can be fully in your empress energy. And you'll know exactly what possibilities are in front of you and what 
aren't. So you can make the clear right choices here. All right, so let's clarify. Because otherwise you're going to keep being in the state of limbo and stuck energy. Instead of like finding out facts is kind of what I feel. So let's see what this Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, which could be you and the Seven of Pentacles. So a lot of Pentacle energy here. Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands, the Aries energy is very, very creative, inspirational. They're leaders. They, they start their own businesses. They can be entrepreneurs, leveling up. Strong energy there. What else? Three of Wands, like waiting, waiting. So you may be thinking about, you know, maybe when you were younger, they chose somebody that was more fiery, like the town, I don't know, Hussey or something. And you're like, I can't believe they did that. And maybe it didn't work out. You don't know that. But because the Queen of Wands sometimes can be the other woman. So you're kind of like sitting there wondering, are they still married to that other woman? So again, waiting, waiting with the Three of Wands here. Or married to that other person. We got... No, I don't like how they fell out. I only wanted one more. One more here for this row. Oh my god, they're giving me clumps. Right, this one. Queen of Pentacles, which is a match to the king. Oh my god. It's like, you know, that should have been me. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. You're looking at the Pentacle Capricorn. This could be you, Capricorn, Virgo, but a match. And you're like, that should have been me. That should have been me. Like, looking at a Pentacle like that. Could have been me. It should have been me. It's still wondering. So, again, about coming out of conflict. The only way you're going to rebuild your life is to find out facts. Find out facts. If you want to go back to that job where, you know, you're, you're hearing they're doing better and they're really paying their employees well, like triple what you're making now, and everybody's loving working there. You know, like, oh, I don't know. I didn't like it when I was there before, but if that was like 10, 15 years ago, definitely things change. So, or, and if you're wondering, God, are they still ma married or with that person? It should have been me. You, you need to find out facts here so you can clearly move on. Instead of wondering in solitude, you know, wonder and wonder, it's not going to get you anywhere. All right. Knight of Wands, taking action, taking action. Five of Cups, Moon, Ten of Pentacles. So the only way to get to your Ten of Pentacles is to take action. Instead of wondering, the Five of Cups, you know, like holding those two cups again, like it should have been me. Wondering if their cups have spilled yet. And sitting in illusion with the Moon energy. But fear of going down that path to finding out truths is what needs to happen here if you want to get to your Ten of Pentacles. Leap of Faith, Aquarius energy here. So cleaning the slate, wiping the slate clean. Feel like you need to wipe the, wipe the slate clean of all the fear, doubt, worry, stress, anxiety, thoughts you're putting in your head. It's like wipe it all out. Just take action and do whatever you need to do here. So you can clearly move in the direction that you know uh, is being paved for you. And we have the Knight of Cups, so Scorpio energy. So that is, can be for a moment in love. It also can be moving forward with, you know, peace, harmony, contentment, following your heart. So I'm not really getting a clear answer, like if this person is um, like still married or I'm just getting the energy or sitting there like, it should have been me and I wonder if they're still in that situation and I, I keep thinking about this past job and I'm hearing all good things. Maybe I should go back, check it out instead of staying stuck in a toxic mindset and situation. That's all I'm getting here, really. <laughs> oh my God. So let me see if I can get, you know, finding out truth and clarity. Um, I mean, we do have the sun here, so let's see. If I can get more energy here as to, like, what's what's going on. Queen of Swords, Libra energy. So that's clear state, mind, and thinking. And finding out truth and, you know, finally putting the sword down and knowing exactly what you need to know. Oh my god, the lovers. Gemini energy. Soulmate energy here. Making a choice. 
Ace of Pentacles, solid new beginning. So again, for you to make the conscious right choice for you, you need to find the facts out. You need to gain clarity, whether you, you do it on your own or get help or assistance from somebody to make conscious right choice for a solid new beginning. So it just keeps coming out here. So I want to know here, what is the lovers? What is the lovers? Death. Okay, so that is something new. That is ending of an energy in the beginning of something new. Letting something go. Ten of Wands, letting something go. All the oppression you've been weighing on yourself. And the Eight of Cups walking away. So you may actually walk away um, from things no longer serving you. Four of Cups. It's the Four of Swords. Again, all this thinking, thinking, and thinking. And the Nine of Wands being stuck. Seven of Cups, an illusion. My gosh. And look at this. Even, you know, not communicating and not finding out is keeping you stuck. It's giving me the same energy over and over, but manifest new beginnings here. Gemini, Virgo. King of Cups, King of Wands. I think you have other options out there, really. I mean, we have the King of Cups, the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords, but we don't have the King. High Priestess, Eight of Wands. Again, taking action, Knight of Swords quickly. King of Wands, Judgment, making that decision. Yeah, I think you just need to... Um, Emperor... It's not really giving me like a whole lot of stuff here. It's just repeating the same thing over and over and over and over again that you clearly need to find the facts out so you can clearly move on if you want to get to your ultimate peace, happiness, state of mind. Because I still see all this overthinking and being stuck and illusioned and stuck in your head and oppressed. This needs to end. This needs to end. So, I mean... The only way you're going to know if this person is like free and available is you need to find out and you need to find out the facts about this either past job you're thinking about. I mean, I do see a return here, the Six of Cups. So I kind of feel like you can have these things that you want from the past if you, if you want them, but you have to find out the facts about things first. I mean, the King of Pentacles, I mean, we do have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, there's still a chance here where maybe this person is single now and you can finally get together. So of sitting there saying, oh, it should have been me, it should have been me. Or even maybe at, you know, this job that you were at before, maybe you were trying to get a promotion or you wanted to be a manager or something like that and they didn't choose you and you're like that should have been me too so i keep getting the energy of whatever these situations were that it should have been me but you will be compensated whether it's getting back in those energies and being compensated for that in some way or you're moving on to bigger and better things and the universe will compensate you in a much better way than staying stuck in this energy is what i feel here All right, so I wish I had more clarity with this reading, but Virgo, I feel like you're so stuck in the energy here that, you know, if you don't start taking steps now to clear your mind, and again, it's like finding information to give you the clarity you need to do whatever you need to do here, the energy is just going to stay stuck. So, and the energy is stuck here. I keep getting the same repeating messages over and over, so... All right, so let's see what the advice and guidance is for you, Virgo. Advice and guidance for Virgo. Let's see what's going to come out. Receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others, but now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. That's kind of twice we have law and order of the universe. So you're about to receive something here, and I do kind of see a gift in the hand. All right, what else do we need to know? So again, you're about to receive... Um, like many blessings coming forth for all the hardships you endured in the past. 
serenity, the most important relationship that you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Oh my goodness. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. Oh my goodness. Didn't we, We've been talking about this the whole reading. Oh my God. It's like you're drowning yourself. <laughs> All right. What else? Okay, new beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward, move you in a new direction. Yeah, so definitely feel like there's new beginnings coming here. Yeah, it's time to let go. It's time to let go because you're blocking new beginnings from coming in. So whether it's letting go by getting the information you need to give you that peace of mind and clarity to let go and say, okay, this person's happily married still, and yeah, it should have been me. Maybe you still love them, but it's kind of too late now. Or, you know, maybe you can finally let go of this job or situation that you just absolutely don't want to be there anymore by, you know, reaching out and saying, hey, you know, and finding out if they're opening open to hiring or bringing you into their um, family because the new beginnings are here. New beginnings are here and you're about to receive, receive what you thought was always yours, but you need to let go definitely here and find the facts out. That's what I keep getting here. Okay, Virgo, so I hope that made sense for you. It was kind of like all over the place in a way, and just the same energy kept coming out. So again, if it didn't resonate, you can check uh, down below your playlist. You can still check out your April readings. Check out the Twin Flame channel if you'd like to. And feel free to go to the community tab. Lots of polls there that you can vote on as well. So wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.